Chan for Arizona. Brenda Webb's been asking herself that a lot in the last 24 hours. I didn't feel like I said anything that drastic that I should be crucified for it. But that's what happened. Some of Cher's followers called her a fake Christian and took so many other swipes at her online, she had to take all of her social media accounts private. This story's clear over in the UK for crying out loud. The 61-year-old mother says she's been a Cher fan since the singer's first hits with Sonny, and she actually agrees with Cher's politics. I believe that the Dreamers, they, they didn't ask to come here. Their parents brought them, plain and simple. It's great what she's doing and what she suggested other celebs to do. It's wonderful. I don't have anything against that. I just, her promises, I want to make sure she just keeps her promises. Because Cher has made some pretty over-the-top political promises in the past. She stated that if Bush got second term, she wasn't, she was leaving the country. And when Trump got in, she was leaving the country. She's still here. Promises matter to Brenda. She felt guilty just rescheduling her nail appointment to do an interview with us. She's unemployed, battling asthma and emphysema, up against a state with an estimated $300 million. And yet, her final message is this. I mean, if she sees this, I'm sorry, Sheriff, but I didn't mean anything. I really, truly did not mean anything by that um, to make you feel awful.